friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I am so excited because today is my day for this fabulous collaboration that's sponsored by Rach and Bella Crafts. So if you guys have been following the hashtag Christmas Craft Off 24, you've already seen some amazing product projects by some you know fantastic creators so this is a collaboration that runs the whole month of November and if you haven't checked it out you're going to want to because there's so many great ideas and Rach and Bella are sponsoring it and they um, have some paper kits that we'll take a quick look at. Um, there's plenty of flip throughs of the paper kits if you go back to some of the earlier videos. But um, we're all using the same paper kits and we all have different prompts. So the seasonal inspiration, nostalgic Noel is the theme and the papers and Every day of the month, I think I said this, I'm a little excited, guys. Every day of the month, so November 1 through November 30th, there's two creators that are doing the same prompt. So you get 60 projects, uh, and it's just amazing, and there's so many great talents on here. So today is day 13, and my partner, who's also using the same prompt today, is Nijeza Creates. So Jez is over on her channel and also has a video. I'll have that linked for you, her channel, in the description of my video. So you can go check out hers as well and how she interpreted our prompt of classic Christmas tags. So there's nothing to me more nostalgic than Christmas tags, right? And all the tags from when um, we were kids and throughout our lives. So we're going to make Christmas tags. A little bit more housekeeping. I'm also going to have the link to Rachel Bella's website. All of the beautiful kits, that I think there's several of them, there's some background pages and then some fussy cuts and add-ons and things are all 40% off the whole month of November and you can get them on their website. So I'll have that linked. They also have some fabulous freebies. So guys, you're gonna wanna go get freebies. I used a combination of, I'm gonna show you what I've made already, of the freebies and items from the kits to make mine. And if you download the freebies, you also get the schedule so you can see all the topics and who everybody is. There's also links, if you go to that website, that can just pop you to each of the, the videos. So if they're not hard to find, you can follow the hashtag on YouTube, you know, all of those things to find them. But if you go to their website, super easy, just look under the collaborations, okay? So that was the housekeeping. I hope I didn't forget anything. Guys, I'm so, I was so excited to be invited and included in this collaboration. So let's get started. All right. I'm going to set that aside. So again, classic Christmas tags was our prompt. And I decided to me, a, a Christmas tag that I remember is all those, the, the kind my mom used to like stick on the packages that said to and from. So I decided that was going to be how I interpreted classic. And then I just decided to use the papers to make some fun things. So this one is more of like that traditional, I think, tag we could add a little piece of twine or ribbon through here um, or attach this to a package we can do all kinds of fun things so i used um, one of the freebies is some pages of words and let me show you this is one of them and then i've already been cutting up this one so the same words i believe maybe they're not yeah yeah, my, mine have just, I've, I've already cut some of mine off. That's why they're different at the top, bam, hello. Um, different colors though. So that's one of the, part of the freebies. So I added that to a piece of the pattern paper, used a bulb pen, there's some stamps. You guys know I love faux stamps. Um, there's also in the freebies different sets of numbers if you wanna do like a December daily or an advent type of, um, journal or project there's numbers that are wonderful that coordinate with all the papers so the little carolers and then i just used one of the background papers to back this tag and then i i have a stamp and we'll use it that just says two from so there you go there's the first one and then these are a little different this one has again a, a little dangle the little ticket the two from I put on the small tag underneath and you can still see it even though that's patterned I could have I guess stamped it on the back but I think I could write you know someone's name and my name on there and be happy with it but this one opens up 
like this. And ta-da! Because I love junk journaling. And even though I have the two from on there, these would be so cute in a journal, right? Or to layer with some other projects. It'll be, uh, it, it could be a great gift for someone just itself, and then they can use it in their Christmas journal if they wanted to. So I loved that. So it had that special surprise way to journal. And then this is one is a similar size. I didn't use a bulb pen on this one. I did use one of those fun jumbo eyelets, but look at this one. It opens up, it's a trifold. So it opens up this way. It has another little tag with some vellum right here. I used some of the words. And then when you open it this way, you get journaling space. And I could have decorated that up, I guess. But I'm thinking, you know, in a journal, open that up. You could write a letter to someone, a message, and then you still have your two from. And I love that tree. I also used my white paint pen and kind of went in and highlighted it just a touch. So beautiful papers, so many things you can do and to choose from. And I'm gonna show you guys how I made these, the trifold, and then hopefully also this one that has the little trifold inside layered on top. This is um, pretty basic of just cutting out the tag shape and making a dangle. So, okay, those were my ideas and I hope you guys like them and I hope you want to make some fun, really easy, but I think tags that look great. So I, I think I have everything that we're gonna need. I've already cut out a bunch of the fussy cuts that we can choose from to decorate ours with. You guys will not be disappointed. These papers are so pretty. And like I said, I'm not doing a full flip through of the kit, of the different kits. If you wanna see those, several people have done that. And if you go back to day one, Rach does a great, you know, showing you the papers and, and what all is included. But I also made sure we had plenty of tags to choose from. And I was also thinking it would be fun. These are like, it's like a little file folder, but we could have, I could have made a tag out of that, but just haven't gotten to it. I have lots to do with this kit. I'm gonna make myself a Christmas journal with these papers so that I can enjoy it myself, but also remember this wonderful collaboration I got to be a part of. So super fun there. All right, let's do this one first. Yeah, let's do this one first. So first we're going to just mount this onto a piece of craft cardstock, one of the tags, and then we're going to make the little tag that goes inside. So I have some some craft cardstock that's a little bit heavier weight, and I did this because when I wrapped the bow around, even though I've printed these on um, like a 90 pound cardstock, ooh, let's do that bell, um, a 90 pound cardstock it's not the heaviest, you know, it's not like just copy paper, but I wanted to have some heft to it. So I just cut my cardstock about a quarter of an inch larger than my tag so that I have kind of an eighth of an inch around. And I do like to ink. And so we're gonna take just a minute, do a little bit of inking. and. You guys, if you're new to my channel, if you came over because of the collaboration, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and um, joining me and going back and looking at some of my other videos. I love to create here on YouTube. Again, I'm an avid um, journaler and paper crafter, so welcome. And if you're one of my subscribers, thank you guys. You guys know I've been excited about this collaboration, and so... I'm glad you guys are watching. I hope you will go watch the other videos. Oh, one thing I didn't mention, I'm just gonna glue this to the paper. One of the things that I didn't mention is there are giveaways and you can get all the details again. Rachel goes over it really well. Um, but if you, to, to be entered into the drawing and there's gonna be lots of prizes that'll be happen after the end of the month. So everybody has a chance to watch all the videos. You have to watch each video and I think give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on the video. And if you don't mind, and you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channels too. It really does. But part of the collaboration is to help smaller YouTube channels like mine get a little more traction and exposure. And we want to help everybody. And even the bigger channels, they really appreciate it too. I'm just going to cut off the corners 
along with my tag, just trim it up so it looks good. So anyway, if you have a chance to do that, great. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming and checking me out. Okay, I'm gonna ink around this. So now we have a nice, sturdy base for our tag. And I'm gonna use one of the smaller size tags that came in the kit. I gotta find one that I wanna use. And we're gonna make the hidden journaling space. Now what is lovely and beautiful about these papers is they really all do coordinate. These are some from, I've already cut them all up so I can't show you on the page, but this was one of the freebies this week too. So, and go back each week because there's more freebies. Let's do this one. All right, and then we'll also pick a fussy cut to decorate the front a little bit because what'll be great is, we don't wanna cover up that bell, but um, I'll, I'll do a kind of hinge where hopefully we'll get to see the bell. But we're gonna pick one that kind of coordinates. These are a little bit large. There's big ones, there's small ones. And don't forget guys, if you want, you, you can tell your printer, I know it's figuring it out, right? But we can tell our printers to print things at different sizes and Oh, the snowman, that's it. Different sizes. So if some of these larger ones you really want for a certain project, you know, do it at 70% or do it at 50% and get them to the size that you want. And it's worth watching a few YouTube videos on how to make your printer do that if, if you would like to be able to craft in different sizes. <laughs> So I love all the papers and it's it's always hard for me when things are like, you guys know, double-sided, like which side of the paper if I have to give up looking at one of the pretty patterns. And that's kind of how I'm feeling right now about this bell, but I'll figure it out. All right. I'm going to do kind of like I did with the books on this one Ooh, and off-center it just a touch down in this left-hand corner. And let's just glue him on. And I had been talking about this collaboration and telling you guys that my video would be coming soon. And I said, I might even get out my glitter. And recently I've done a few different videos using glitter and I decided no glitter today. I have spilled more glitter and I've had more glitter in my hair and in my eyelashes and on my face than I care to think about. So we're not doing any more glitter today. <laughs> but you could and it would look beautiful. All right, now we are going to make the journaling t space underneath. And I hope I printed out, did I, did I, did I? Um, I know I have some here. You guys got, just gotta give me a second to find it. A little excited. We've got this blue. What I was looking for was one that I printed a neutral on the back. And I did, um, I don't know what happened there. I did this kind of just a neutral that I have, but then I also did a really light pink. This is white, but underneath is a light pink. I can make the paper come apart. That's like a light pink, which is really pretty, that kind of coordinated. Aren't these gorgeous? They print so pretty and so vibrant. So let's pick one that has a neutral. And I'm going to go, I think, with this blue that has a neutral so that we'll have space to write on, but also have a little bit of the, the pattern colored paper to see, too. So this tag, let's see, it is, well, the full height of the tag is four inches, and I want, I'm going to just do a rectangle. So I want mine to be... I'm going to say three and a quarter inches tall. And I'm going to make sure I have, I'm just, I'm doing this so that it'll chop on my, my little tiny chopper. Okay, so I'm going to cut this strip at three and a quarter inches. And we'll see how much of it we actually need for our journaling card. It's going to get attached onto the back of here. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to, I could score it, but I'm going to just use the tag 
to help me see the width that I want to do my fold at. And I do want to fold it straight. And I'll give you the measurement in case you want to score yours. I folded mine at two and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm gonna see that this is going to nestle in here. And we are just going to do an accordion fold, so like back and forth a couple of times. So we have a nice fold, and I have this, this is about a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna see if this will work. I haven't thought this through, y'all, even though I made a prototype. See, if I attach this, maybe even attach it on this side, that way when we open it up, I still get to see this pretty pattern on the paper instead of having an entire panel glued down that keeps me from seeing it. I think this will work. We're gonna do it, we're just gonna go for it. Okay, so let me give you the measurements in case you want to make one the same size as mine. This is right, right at seven inches by three and a quarter. And you could score yours at two and a quarter and then at four and a half. And then just make yourself whatever's left, fold that over, okay? So you just have this little tiny hinge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ink this so that we have a little bit of ink on it. And I kinda like when you open it up to see the journaling space, having the ink in that crease like that. So there we go. Not sure what's gonna show, so we'll just go ahead for good measure and ink all the way around. And you can skip inking if you want to. You don't have to ink. Okay, there we go. Now each time I make things, I kind of sometimes do it a little different, but you certainly can recreate the projects as well. <laughs> you don't have to, um, you don't have to make them exact, you can make them exactly the same over and over or just use different papers, or you can be like me and say, oh wait, this paper makes me want to do this a little different. Okay, so this lovely little snowman friends are gonna layer on top of this tag. This one, if you can see, I oriented my little tag more to the left. This one, I'm gonna orient it more to the right. Just making sure I like how it's lining up. And I do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this to the back of the to the back of the tag and we're going to add glue to this entire section. So there we go. All right. Pretty. And I'm just getting it in here so that it doesn't hang over and you don't see it when it's just sitting here. It's kind of like a little hidden surprise. And now we are going to attach it to the big tag just by this hinge right here. Okay. And there we go. Now I am going to let that glue down before I start playing with it too, too much. <laughs> All right. I like it. And again, a piece of ribbon around to help keep it closed and make it look special is going to be great. I just realized something that I did and I, I don't want to do it this way. So see how this is tearing right here? I stuck my ribbon underneath this layer to the cardstock because I like how that looks. But what I wasn't counting on is that depending on how you pull on it, it tears a little bit. So this one, we're going to just put the ribbon onto the back of the card and bring it around. And I think it's going to work better. Okay, so this is what you get when you open it this way, and this is what you see when you open it this way. And of course, you could go through and decorate this as much as you want, all right? Now, let's make ourselves a little dangle to go with it, and we'll need something that says to from, because that was my interpretation of what makes a classic Christmas tag. <laughs> So I think I have some of the little, 
the little ones here. There's another one. Ooh, I like that one. And I think on this one, I'm not going to stamp two from on the front. I'm going to stamp two from on the back. And I'm just going to use my Distress Ink because that's what I have out. I certainly could go get a fun color ink to do this with, but brown is all right. We can get the brown on there. All right, so I have this little tag ready to go. And then let's find, I'm being a little bit messy today and all my excitement and my prep for the video, I wanted to have some to show you guys what we were gonna be making. Uh, I, I got a little, I don't know, I didn't get all the little bits done. So I want one of these faux stamps and look, they're similar. They're not the same snowman and here's a little snowman too. So let's just grab one of these with the snowman. And I'm just using my little fancy scissors <laughs> that the, this style or pattern of the cut is actually called stamp and it's Fiskars. So we now have a little snowman stamp. I think on one of these, I mounted the stamp, kind of made him like a little mini cluster but I think I'm just gonna leave this one like this as part of the dangle. And then let's make a word, or get a word on here somewhere. Probably a few words, even. If I can remember where I put the words. Guys, I make videos all the time, or I have been over this last year, and I don't really think that much about it, but something about this one's making me a touch nervous. So I don't know, I'm excited, a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay, let's find, I don't know, this is saying Mary and Bright to me. So we're gonna use Mary and Bright, definitely. Cut that out. And a lot of times when I'm working with a big page of words like this, I will go ahead and cut them out and then have them like in my little doodad notebook. But sometimes it's easier for me to find the one that I want if I leave it on the page for a while. And so I'm going to wait to put this on the tag until I see what my ribbon looks like. But I also want to put a word on our little dangle we're making. So how about we do... Uh, believe. We'll put believe for the dangle and Mary and Bright will be kind of the card sentiment. All right. Cute. Very cute. And then I'll set that one aside so we don't lose them. Okay, so to make the dangle... You could also add ribbon, you know, you guys, you could add a cute little bell. There's so many things you could do, guys. All right, I am going to, am I gonna mount this on some paper? The other one I did to make it be, I wanted it a little bit longer. I think this one's okay, but we could mount it on a piece of the pattern paper if we wanted to. I am going to grab my little paper piercer and I am going to kind of Lay, line these up the way I want them. I want the stamp at a little bit of an angle. I'm just gonna poke a hole so that the hole is where I want it to be. And I think I'm gonna attach this one with one of my little bulb pens. I'm gonna use gold. But I haven't done the ribbons yet, so we're just gonna put this together so that I don't lose the little pieces and then we can attach it here in a minute. Isn't that cute? Okay, and a little piece of ribbon would look cute on there. All right, what kind of ribbon do we wanna use? The gingham I was really enjoying with these papers, so maybe we'll just stay with that, and then I'll have like a whole set of these tags for my journal. Okay. To have a long enough piece of ribbon, I want to say, and I measured that one thinking, oh, I'll remember what that measurement is. Ha! <laughs> I don't remember. We'll see. I'll tell you what it is here in a second. Could have done a better job with that. All right. Set that aside. This may be too long. I tend to sometimes overcut 
Yes, 22 inches. I want to say it was 17 for this one, but we'll see what it looks like. Now, before I stick it to the back, because I want it to stay with the tag. I don't want it to be loose. But before we stick it to the back, I'm going to tie it, make sure I like it. And we can tie it right in the center. We can go, you know, kind of to either side. I think this one is looking better either in the center or a little to the right of the snowman. Yeah. And it's a little long, but not too much. We'll trim it off once I have it on here permanently. Okay, I do like it. So I'm untying it. And again, if you don't want it to show on the back, you can layer it under here. But as soon as I did that, and I even let the glue dry, it, it, it keeps ripping. So I decided to pivot and do it this way. I'm going to use my two-sided tape that's the one-eighth of an inch because I want to make sure it doesn't show through. And the other one, I would have to be really careful to get it absolutely perfect. Okay, I want to, I'm going to actually measure here for a second, just because with my snowman, I know that I want this ribbon to be right about there. So I'm going to come down from the top of my tag. Looks like the top of the ribbon will be right at two and three quarters. So I'm going to take my pencil. If the top of the ribbon is at two and three quarters. I'm just going to mark right here because I kind of want the center of my ribbon to be right there. And I, don't, I know you guys can probably not see that little pencil mark, but that's going to help me know where to lay down my tape. And the tape is going to go right to the back. And this will hold this ribbon on here. Nice. Okay, I hopefully got that somewhat straight. If you really are worried about it, you know, you could have drawn a line and, and really, really gotten it nice and straight. Now, I want this to be, even though I have a little extra, I've got a little wiggle room here. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to stick this down approximately half and try to get it nice and straight. The plaid actually helps me. Okay, let's hope, I'm gonna burnish that down really well, that I measured correctly and we like where the ribbon is. Very cute. So if you guys have been watching the different collaboration videos, um, let me know. I can't even, guys, there's so many fun ones. I can't even pick favorites. I, and if I start mentioning them, then I'll feel bad. But I will say I loved um, Bella's tags that she did on Friday, Friday the 12th. So go back and look at those. And... G. Kerr did one with some fun danglies. Oh my gosh, and sparklies. That was fun. There's just so much. Um, my friend Bobby with Precious Memory Boxes, she's also in the collaboration. I think she was on day two. She was a little nervous. Go give her some love. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I'm going to put Mary and Bright right there. Of course, it'll get, when I add my dangle, let's wait, because I may end up putting it down here, because depending on how this dangle works out. All right, I am going to, let's get this one done, because I want to make one more, and I don't even know how long we've been going, and we're trying to keep these to about 30 minutes. So I may just show you how to um, assemble it and maybe not do all the decorating. We'll check the timer and see in a second. All right, I did a slot punch. I am going to use the same ribbon so that I don't have to think too much. And I am going to, I think I'm just gonna do a little, a little tie on here like this. Cute. Yeah. And angle, ugh, angle it off just a little bit and we'll stick our dangle on and it is going to be precious and then decide where to put Mary and Bright. 
what is great too, if you decide to get these kits, is then you have all of these videos um, to really help you maximize the use of the papers. If you kind of are in a funk, you're like, I don't know what to do. Um, I still kind of want it up here. We're gonna put it up here. Um, you know, all you have to do then because the videos will be there, is go back and grab one of the videos and make a one project. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here, even though the dang will cover it up a little bit while it's moving around. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so there, we made one, yay! And that one's similar to this one. This one I did the, the ribbon, um, kind of that little traditional loopy. Okay, I like them both. You can trim this shorter if you want to. Okay, let us let me show you just the construction on this one. And then we will be done. All right. To make this one, again, I used a couple of the larger tags. How many of the larger tags? I used two of the larger tags. And you could probably use more, but this is how we're going to do it. So... Should we do one of the little girls again? Yeah, let's do this little girl. Hmm. Just make sure, I have a lot of these larger size ones, so I just wanna make sure before I commit that I'm picking the one that I think goes well with her. She has some bells, but that candle. And I really thought I was gonna do these little kids because I love them and I haven't made anything with them yet. But I will get to them. Those three would look really cute together at some point. And I've already done one with a similar tree. Let's do the candle. Okay, now I'm going to pick one of the papers that I have some type of backing on. And she has a little bit of pink. So let's use her. And then we'll get to see this paper too. La -dee -da. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and ink her because I'm going to glue her down and show you what I did. And there's lots of ways to make trifold tags, but I, I decided that this was just how I was going to do it this time. So I'm picking the one that I want and I'm going to glue it to the pretty side of the paper. You could do it the other way. It doesn't really matter because you're going to get to see a panel of the pattern paper and a panel of the more for the journaling paper. So really you can choose. Okay. And I'm doing mine this way so that I have two panels to journal on. And that'll make sense here in just a moment. So just glue this baby down to the paper. And then I'm gonna use my ruler and my bone folder, whatever you wanna use to score. And I'm just, just to make this easier to fold, I'm just scoring right along the edge of that tag because I'm then gonna just fold this paper like that, okay? Because now I want to cut, and I could take this over to my guillotine cutter, but we're going to just cut this um, so that we have basically another tag shape. We're not going to cut it yet, though. <laughs> a another tag shape. This one, I didn't even decide I was doing a triple tag until I kind of got a little further into it. We're going to cut it in just a minute. Don't cut it yet. Score one more time. like this, because you gotta have that trifold. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna have the trifold and we have the pink to journal on this time. Now this is what we need to cut off. And I'm gonna do my paper tear method. You can put this on a cutter, you can draw a line, you can use your scissors, whatever you want. I just decided to tear mine. And I have this nice rough edge that's gonna pick up a lot of ink and it's gonna be pretty because I'm going to then attach this tag to this panel. But before I do that, let's ink. And we could go ahead and cut the shape out too, but we'll wait. We'll cut it all out at once. 
My ink is not very dark today. Okay. So before we do that, have one tag, skip a panel, and then put your second tag on the third panel. La -di da And glue, glue that down. Okay. So fun. And like I said, this one kind of came together um, after the fact. <laughs> so this one's working out a little bit better. Now we are going to cut right around the tag so that everything is the same size. Look at that. It really is actually an easy way, I think, to do a trifold. Now, if this bothers you, and it does bother me a touch, it's because I didn't cut these tags exactly the same. Yep, I'm just gonna cut that off. And with some ink <laughs> around here, it's gonna look great. Okay. And you can trim that piece as well. That, that for some reason is not bothering me as much, so I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna add a little bit of ink in between here. And I have found with the collaboration too, I've watched some of these in past years. I don't know how many years Rachel and Bella have been doing the collaboration. If you know, drop that in the comments for everybody. But I have found some new people to follow this, this year too. So that's really fun to start seeing again, different ideas and how people interpret prompts in different ways. Okay, so now you just decide I want my girl to be on the front. So we're gonna do it like that. And then you open it up and you see this lovely candle. Now on the original one, I did a little tiny vellum pocket. And there's different ways to work with vellum. A lot of times I sew around it, but my art glitter glue, I'm gonna get that out in just a second. I'm just eyeballing. I'm going to make this be about a two inch high pocket. The art glitter glue will, I mean, that's what I did here. And you can't, you can see it a little bit because the paper is so patterned in the back. I, do, I don't notice it and it doesn't bother me, but a lot of times I will sew around vellum, but I'm going to just glue this down. And this is my bottle that has art glitter glue in it instead of my everyday PVA glue. Okay. There we go. Very sweet. And then I like that because then I can see through and still see the pattern paper. And then when we do stick another little tag in there, it will, you'll be able to see it. It'll show through a little bit. Okay, on this one, I put the ribbon on the first panel, the little thing. I'm not gonna make another dangle right now because I think I've gone a little longer than I really wanted to, but that's all right. It's fun, it's Christmas crafting. So some words, I'll select one of the tags. I have that pile of the smaller ones sitting here. Let's pick one that we like. I even think it's a little bit big for how I glued that about this one. I'll decorate it up some. You can also decorate the pocket if we want to. And for this one, this is a pretty thick Grogane, but I'm hoping the, the way I did it on the original is I pulled it through like this and then I used some of my thin gold and wrapped it around almost like a little tassel. Isn't that cute? You guys want me to show you how I did that? Even though I cut this too tall. We'll do that really quick. If I can find my gold thread. Did I get my gold thread out already? I may not be able to show you if I can't find my gold thread. 
Maybe if I put my glasses on. Guys, I don't usually craft with my glasses on, but then when I'm looking for something that, of course, has disappeared, we'll use this thread. And I can't see, but then my up close stuff. And yes, I have bifocals. Yes, I have progressive lens. I have all the things, but I just prefer to craft without my glasses on. All right, I do not need all of this ribbon. So in an effort to save a piece of it, we'll do that. Put that in my ribbon bin, my ribbon bin. Okay, so all I did, and the gold looked really pretty and it would look pretty on this one too, but it's okay. We're gonna use this that is a, it's a white and a silver baker's twine and I think the silver look pretty so I just start looping it around and I'm holding this end so I don't lose it looping it around and then I start pulling it a little bit tighter as I go and do a few more loops whoa the gold was actually easier because it has a little bit of a wire to it and it's probably sitting here on my desk and you guys are probably all screaming, Pam, it's right there if you see it. But it's all right, okay. And then I just kind of wiggle it around till I think it looks nice. I've got it nice and snug. And then I tie a really good knot. And then I just did a bow. Cute. And again, later off camera, I'll make a little dangle for this one. But that way, at least you got to see some of the techniques that I used. There we go. Um, while I made my tags, my classic Christmas tags. And I'm really excited to go over and see what Jez made on her channel. So again, that'll be linked for you below. So this one, still a little bit of decorating to do. Plenty of space to journal on this one. Here was the prototype. Very sweet. I still need my two from, right? And then here's the one we made together on camera here. And then one more, just in case you needed some inspiration. These are in more of the kind of those classic Christmas colors. I love all of these papers. I hope you guys do too. Please let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, I would love a comment. I would love a thumbs up. Um, if you, oh, I'm donating to the prizes some of my um, Merry Christmas tree tags that I made um, a few weeks ago. So um, those are going to be shipped to whoever wins anywhere in the world. So, um, there's going to be digital paper kits, other like makes that people have made, um, lot, lots of prizes. So watch all the videos, leave a like, a comment and like them. And if you're feeling really generous, subscribe to the channels and go back and watch some of the people's, people's creations, their videos. All right. Thanks everybody. Rach, Bella, thank you so much for including me. I have had a blast. Until next time. See you guys.